eyes and what I've seen from this weekend, Keith Thurman and also Danny Garcia both got bitched, and they become bitches the rest of the way. Point blank and simple. That's what it is. I mean, I don't. I I, I would be remiss if if Sean decided to turn back and say, "Oh, I I, I you know I ain't gonna even bother them no more." But hell with that. They if they gonna run off and, and and be like that and treat them that way. That's the way they're supposed to be treated, like a prostitute. Keep it moving. Ken, I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked to hear you take that stance because it's funny. I mean, one could easily say you guys are doing, not you guys only, but the entire welterweight division is doing the same to Earl Spence. Nobody's doing that. You understand what it means to work for a company and build yourself up in a company to make a certain amount of money in that company. You do understand also if you leave that company and go to another company, now you're going to have to start from the bottom. So whatever I've been paying the WBC to be ranked, you now want me to give someone else that same amount of money. So I'm just supposed to throw away all the money that we've been spending with the WBC. Because you do know every time we fight for them, we pay sanctity fees. And that's not $20,000. That's not $30,000. Brother, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So anybody who's looking at this who do not understand, there is a sanctioning fee that is paid. So we pay for that shit to beat Berto. We pay for that same shit again to beat Adrian Granados. And now we're supposed to just say, oh, we invested in something. We're not gonna we're not gonna get back the investment. We don't want the investment back. We just gave away hundreds of thousands of dollars and we don't give a shit. We don't care. It's bullshit. And it has nothing to do with Errol Spence. Everybody should know that by now. Everybody should be able to understand that, or you guys should be able to relay that information to them and say, oh, hey, whoever, what, what, what did they do yesterday? They had Ugas fight for the right to fight Errol Spence. How the hell are we going to jump past Ugas now? Ugas got a, a, a legal right to fight that man. A legal right. He paid a sanctioning fee yesterday. But We're not even ranked with the IBM. But, Ken, the way so that... Again, why would I even want to fight? The way Why would I want to fight anybody for the IVF title? Why would I want to do that? If I'm not ranked with them and I'm going to have to pay them, okay, so I got to pay, what, $100,000 to fight somebody, but I've already paid $200,000 on the other side. What happens to my money? Just to make someone happy? But it's a world title makes shot. makes no sense whatsoever. You wouldn't do it. It's a world Excuse title me? shot, though. It doesn't matter that it's a world title shot. You, I want you to give me back the $250,000 that we gave to WBC. I need you to do that for me. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? Hey, before the video even continue, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bowmans. Let's get it. All right, now, check this out. Now, um, first, I want to give a shout-out to uh, the Boxing Voice. These dudes always on point. They get these interviews, and um, whenever they out there, it's a good boxing channel. Please check it out. But um, that's where I just got this interview from, the little snippet. And um, I just want to... To point out a couple of things, because I'm constantly hearing about how guys is ducking this guy, guys is ducking that guy, and it's just another one of those situations where the fan doesn't understand how the uh, the inner workings actually work. So they, they, they don't understand how it works. Now, do I think people are ducking Errol Spence Jr.? Absolutely. I think people are ducking Errol Spence Jr., and rightfully so. He's dangerous. But at the same time, I understand what Kenny Porter is trying to say. He's not even ranked with the IBF. The IBF is the belt that Errol Smith Jr. currently has. He's not even ranked. So that means that in order for him to, to go get a fight with Errol Smith Jr., or whatever the case is, he has to pay a sanction and body fee. To pay the sanction and body fee, that's, that's money that you got to pay in order to get the fight, right? So he's saying... Why am I going to pay the sanction and body fee 
for the IBF belt, and I've already been playing sanction and body fees for the WBC belt. I might as well keep investing my money over there with the WBC belt because, you know, I've already invested money over there. That leads me to believe one of two things. One of the main things that leads me to believe is they believe they have a better chance of being Sean Porter, a guy that they already fought and lost to, than they do at being Errol Spence Jr., which is a guy that he sparred with, Sean Porter, sparred with, and it was said that he was like, he, he got washed. Like, it was... It was it was a tough way to a tough road to hold for Sean. So um that's basically what it sounds like they're trying to say and he's trying to back out of it. But I believe that the real reason why they don't want to go up against uh Errol Smith Jr. is because one, I don't think they could beat him. But I think the real reason is you gotta understand, a lot of these fighters wait years to be able to get to where they could get good fights. To get to, you know, where they, where they could be headlining. They got to wait years. I think a lot of this has to do with not just the fact that some of these guys just don't want to fight Earl Spence Jr. Because they don't believe they could beat him. But I also think it's jealousy. I also think it's a... He got here too easily. Or too soon. Or too quickly. And I had to work harder to get to that spot. That he had to work to get to that spot. I think that's what a lot of this is. I think that's just... Plainly what a lot of this is. But I do think they're ducking because I don't think anybody want to fight the dude. But I think a lot of this is it was just too easy for him to get there than it was me. So if I had to wait three, four years, why the hell don't he have to wait three, four years? Everybody's after that WBC belt. All right? Nobody's even thinking about the WBO belt. And that belt's easy pickings. Freaking um, Horn has that belt. Jeff Horn. That belt is easy pickings. Nobody's even thinking about that belt. Certain belts people want to have. Other belts people just not interested in getting. It's just that's... that's <laughs> for whatever the reasons is. Certain belts just have a certain prestige to it. While other belts, not so much. So nobody's going after the IBF belt. This guy's... He said that they're not even ranked. You know? They're not even ranked. In the IBF. Not that they can't be ranked. They can go get ranked. But they currently aren't ranked. Anyway. uh, I just want to throw that out there. I want to know what y'all think about this. Like do y'all think. I think they're ducking. Don't get, it, don't get it confused. I think that they're ducking. But I think that it's not just because they're scared of losing a fight. I think it's just that people jealous of Errol Spence Jr. Freaking uh, Jamal Charlo. Who's a freaking. Um middleweight, I think he's a light middleweight, he said, and I think he's, I think Jamal Charlo fights at uh, 160 or something like that, 160, 168, something like that, he said he doesn't even know who's stronger, him or freaking Errol Spence Jr., and Errol Spence Jr. fights at 147, nobody don't want to fight this guy, it's just, that's what it is, anyway, um, let me know what y'all guys think about it, leave it down in the comment section, like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang, hashtag bronze poems. Let's get it. Hey, look, I love y'all. Take care of each other. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.